Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I finally decided I am ready to do my reorganization of my makeup collection. If you guys have been watching my channel recently, I've talked a lot about wanting to reorganize. Ever since I did a very large declutter um, and I went through my whole collection, some of the drawers that I previously had designated to certain categories of makeup just don't make sense anymore. So I am going to be redoing some of the drawers, but also the drawers themselves all do need to be reorganized because I just kind of threw everything back in there after each declutter without organizing it since I wanted to wait until all the declutters were done to kind of figure out where I wanted things. But I have finished my whole declutter, so I am going to go ahead and reorganize these drawers today. Um, so I do have two sets of the Alex 9 drawers side by side here. That is where most of the makeup is stored, is in the actual drawers. But I also have some up on top, which is um, in this little letter folder here, which I got it at TJ Maxx, people ask that a lot. And then this, oh, excuse the giant band-aid on my finger. I sliced my finger yesterday. Um, this here has all of my lip um, pencils in it. And then I do also have over here, the lighting's not gonna be great over here, but I'll show you real quick. Over here I have this little acrylic drawer that has some makeup in it too. And then I have my everyday makeup in my everyday makeup drawers, which are part of my desk. So what we're gonna be going through today is the Alex drawers. Um, I'm not gonna go through the everyday makeup drawers because I pretty much like how those are. So we're gonna go through here. Okay, so before we start organizing, I just wanna show you what's in each drawer first and kind of tell you my thoughts on what I think I'm gonna do. So this top drawer on the right side here, we're gonna start on the right, um, Alex Nines. This has um, liquid lipsticks and like lip pencils, like the jumbo lip pencil crayon type things. Um, and then also it has some um, lip stains in here. So that's kind of this little drawer here. And then the drawer below that has all of the traditional bullet style lipsticks in it. Below that I have a drawer for eyelashes. Now I rarely, rarely wear lashes. So I feel like I could consolidate this and sh have this share with something else, another eye category. So I'm probably gonna get rid of the eyelash drawer. Right below that, this drawer has my eyeliners. These are mascaras that are unopened. And then on the side here are my brow products. Next we come to the single eyeshadow drawer. I got a rid of a lot of my single eyeshadow, so I have a lot less in here. This drawer used to be all of my small eyeshadow palettes, and this used to be really full, but because I decluttered a ton of eyeshadow palettes, there's not a lot left in here. It looks very empty for this large drawer. And then below that is another eyeshadow palette drawer. Same thing happened with this. I got rid of so many palettes that these drawers that used to all be very full are not so full anymore. And then we have one more eyeshadow palette drawer. So clearly I do not need three different drawers anymore for eyeshadow palettes. Before my declutter, I really did, and they were all very full, but now it does not make sense to have three drawers dedicated to palettes. So I think I'm going to go down to two again, just one for um, medium and large palettes and one for small palettes. And I might have the lashes share with the small palettes depending on how much room we can make in that drawer. Okay, and now we are in the very bottom drawer on the right side. This is where I put all of my brand new products until I get a chance to pull them into a Shop My Stash or to use them in a video. Now, these products on top I threw in here because I need a place for these. These here are for a giveaway. I started collecting some products for a giveaway. Um, all of these are things I received um, like in PR and stuff that I don't plan on using, so I didn't even open them. I'm keeping them new in packaging, and I'm going to be including these in my next giveaway. I'm not sure yet when that's gonna be, but my plan is I would really like to have a drawer in here dedicated to giveaway, because what I like to do is collect things um, over time I'll collect things and then when I get enough I'll do a giveaway or if like if I hit a milestone like I'm planning to do another giveaway when I hit 50,000 subscribers um, then whatever I have saved up, up goes into that giveaway so I would like to have a drawer for these and I'm hoping I can make enough room for that um, but I will probably keep this drawer I do like having the new stuff drawer um, it just has worked out really well for me to do this especially with my shop my stash series it helps me to remember what has not been used yet so I do like having this drawer that'll probably stay the same all right let's move over to the the left side here and I'm gonna start on the bottom this time so over here on the bottom drawer is my skincare drawer this is my overflow skin care so in here is everything I have not used yet there's a lot in here even though I just did that skincare declutter I have a lot of skincare um, I ideally I would like to have the sheet mask in a separate drawer I find it very difficult to 
get them out when they're in here with all of these other products. So if they had a different place, that would be really nice. Um, so we'll see what kind of room I can make for that. But I, I still do like having this this drawer because when I run out of like an eye cream or something, I'll come in here and grab something to replace it. This drawer here is basically supplies. So I have some little pump things in here. I've got like lash curlers. Um, this, it has like some fragrance samples in it. These uh, wipes and so all of my empty matte containers, which I'm at five right now. I just need to empty one more and then I can bring those back. So I don't know, I feel like I could utilize this drawer better, maybe get it a little more organized. Maybe I could um, have sheet masks in here with supplies, maybe sheet masks in front and supplies in back, I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll see what we can do with that drawer. And then this drawer is the face palettes drawer. I do like having a separate drawer for face palettes. Um, I don't like having these in with my other face products and I don't necessarily like having them in with my eyeshadow palette. So I do like that they have a separate drawer, but I think I might move them to this stack of Alex 9s and possibly have them with the palettes just in their own drawer. Maybe when I get rid of one of those palette drawers, we'll see. Then I have the blush drawer. This again, it's not as full as it used to be, but I still do like having a drawer dedicated to blush. I still have enough blush that that's gonna have to be the, that way. Kitty's coming to say hi. All right, the next drawer is my bronzer's drawer. It's not as full, again, as it used to be. And I'm gonna say that on every drawer. They're none of them are as full as they used to be. This is one of the smaller drawers on my Alex 9. I feel like it's still pretty uh, well utilized with this category. So we'll see what we do with that. Um, next is highlighters. This drawer actually did stay pretty full and I do still think I need a full drawer for that. Powders, I feel like this is gonna stay pretty much the same. Again, just reorganizing it. Um, I think same thing with this drawer. This is all of my eye and face primers. I still feel like it's fairly full and I'll need to keep that dedicated. Oops, and then the last drawer up here is gonna be the concealers and foundations. There's a lot less in here, but I still like having a drawer just for those products. All right, and then as I mentioned already, I do have some palettes up here. Um, I probably will keep these up here. I do like having um, some of those up on top. And then I will probably just keep my liners in this container. I like having this right in front of me next to my uh, brushes when I get ready because when I'm putting on my lipstick, I'll just grab a liner if I feel like I need it for that lipstick. All right, it's dark over here, but real quick, I wanted to show you this little acrylic thing that I was talking about. This top drawer is where I keep all of the products from my projects I have going on. Oh, this doesn't actually belong in there. Sometimes I accidentally throw the wrong things in, but this is where my project products are. So all of my makeup use ups for this year, as well as my project that I have going on the 12 by Christmas one hands of Christmas so those are all gonna stay but this drawer here I have gloss in I kind of would like to move the gloss out of here and have it more with the lip products and then maybe be able to use this drawer for products I'm testing for example right now I have these three palettes that are are just basically living on my desktop because I need to test these out for a video. So I've been testing these and it would be nice to have products I'm testing for videos to have their own place so they don't have to stay on my desk because my desk, as you can see, gets very, very cluttered and having things like this out that I'm testing just makes a bigger mess. So I think that is my plan. Let's get started. Please excuse the way that I look. I am not feeling well today. I have um, a daughter homesick with the flu and I feel like I might be catching it. So excuse my appearance, but I really did wanna get this done today. So I think what I'm gonna start with is these palette drawers because I know that those can be consolidated. So I wanna start there to make room for where I wanna move some things. So let's begin with that. Let's just take all the palettes out. I think I'm gonna keep the ones that I have on top because I've really put the ones up there that I would like up there. So we'll just work with the ones that are in the drawer here. Every single time I start filming like this, my cats are so curious what I'm doing, they come around. So hopefully you guys don't mind some kitties saying hi. All right, uh, one time I had someone comment, that's disgusting, you let your cats go around your makeup. I'm like, okay, well, they're my cats and it's my makeup, so yes, I do. All right, um, it's not like they do anything to it. They just kind of walk around it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and move all of the face palettes into this drawer here. So I'm not gonna use a divider. I think I'm just gonna stack them up like this. All right, so this is how that drawer turned out. I kind of like having them just kind of stacked up like that. Um, so it, it's gonna go new stuff drawer, 
and then face palette drawer. And then I think we'll just do large pal large eyeshadow palettes and then small eyeshadow palettes right above that. Start there. So large ones we'll put in here. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this size of palette. So as you can see, I'm just stacking the ones that are kind of the same shape on this side, and then the larger, more square ones are going back here. So, but you can really see where everything is, which is my whole point. Whenever I reorganize, I wanna be able to see what I have in the drawer. I don't want things stacked up where you can't tell what's there. Okay, next we're gonna use this drawer for the small palettes. I'm gonna see if I can make room for the lashes in this drawer too because that would be ideal if I can do that. I have this little kitchen divider and it's actually a utensil tray. I think I got this at, I want to say Fred Meyer. The more in front, yeah, I want them more in front and then maybe the lashes to the side and the back. Okay, if I end up doing it that way. So then I'm going to go ahead and just stack all of the small palettes in here. Try to make it look as clean as I can. So that's all these small palettes. Actually, that looks a lot better. So now what I'm gonna do is grab all of the lashes from that drawer and see if I can get it to fit in here nicely. Honestly, it was so silly of me to have a separate drawer for these because I rarely wear them and I don't have that many, to be honest. All right, that's a lot better. So the lashes are just stacked behind these small palettes. I think that's totally fine. It looks a little busy in there, but I don't mind. I don't mind, because I don't want to waste a whole drawer on those when I rarely wear them. All right, now we're gonna really quick do this drawer. This is one of the drawers that is gonna stay the same, but I'm just gonna organize it better real quick. I think that looks a lot better. It's just um, organized now by brand and shape, and there are some empty containers. Now, because of what I do for a business, because I am a YouTuber and I do review makeup, I like to have a little bit of room to grow in my drawers. I like having um, some empty slots back here where if I get new product, I have room to um, put that in there. I was just actually talking to my friend Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom. I'll link her channel below, and we're just talking about how sometimes it gets overwhelming, but really when you do this, when you do YouTube videos about makeup, it's just inevitable that you're going to constantly have new makeup coming in and makeup going out. It's just the way it is, so. All right, this drawer, I actually don't feel like I need to reorganize at all. I really like how it is. I like having my liners here. I like having my unopened mascaras here, and I do like having my brow products. Oh, this goes in here. Uh, brow products on the side. That's how I like it. It works great, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this drawer as is. Alrighty, since I was able to move my lashes out of here, I do have a drawer that now came available for me to put my lip glosses in. So, I feel like I would like some sort of a storage container in here though. All right, so I found one of these containers that I used to use um, in a closet, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that for lip glosses for now. Um, I might change that a bit later on, but I'll go ahead and just transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all the lip glosses over. So that's it for in here, it's pretty, that was pretty easy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do this right here. Now that I have this acrylic um, bottom drawer empty. I'm going to go ahead and move these. All right, so I got all of those products that I'm working on testing for videos. Those are all put away now. Um, so I love actually having it this way. So these are the products I need to remember to use the most because these are part of projects to use up and then these are things I'm testing for videos. So that's perfect. I love having those on my desktop but put away. We're moving up to the two lip drawers. So these are actually not going to be changed at all. I really do like the way that these are organized already. I basically do have them pretty much organized by size and brand. And same thing with this drawer. All of the liquid lips are in this container. I have the lip pencils over here, and then the um, lip stains are in front. So that's the way I like it, that's the way it's gonna stay. And as I briefly mentioned, up here those are staying as well. So let's go ahead and move to the second set of Alex 9 drawers. All right, we're gonna go ahead and begin on the bottom again. So this drawer here, the skincare drawer, I pretty much wanna stay the same. The only thing I'm gonna do is remove all of these sheet masks, because as I mentioned, it's really difficult 
to find them mixed in here. So I'm gonna pull all of these out. Now it already looks so much less crazy in here. Now I'll be able to find things that I am looking for when I reach in here. So I like that a lot better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pull out these empty MAC products because I'm just gonna stick these in a bag in the closet until I'm ready to back to MAC them because I already almost have enough. Now, a lot of this is garbage. I mean, I just don't use a lot of this stuff. Like, okay, this is a little, why do I even keep this stuff? This is a little case that came with a Becca powder and a little sponge. So I don't use these sponges and I never actually put these in case like when I'm traveling or something. So it's pointless to keep that. So I'm gonna throw that away. I also had this YSL one that was in my eyeshadow drawer. I, why do I keep those? I don't know. Um, I also have all of these little samples that I had at one point taken home with the intention to try. Never did, so I'm just gonna go ahead and toss those. Cleaning gloves, these should be in my drawer for cleaning supplies. I don't need those in here. Never grab them in here. More samples, these little jars. These I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna use these to put um, some product in. They've just been sitting in here because I forgot they were in here, so I'm just gonna remove those. I really don't need those in here. This bag is literally full of little perfume samples. So I'm gonna take the ones that I like out and put them in with my perfume and the rest I'm just gonna get rid of. And I can use this little bag to put lipsticks in in my purse, so. Oh, this is a little brush that came with a Benefit product. I hate those brushes. I don't know why I still even have that. Throw that away. These are reusable lids that come with the Sephora collection brushes, but I never actually put those lids on when I travel. So again, garbage, a receipt, garbage, a little, <laughs> Eyeshadow brush that came from Buxom somewhere. Garbage, I don't keep those. Um, a little magnet for a Z palette. That should be in a Z palette. Here's another. This one's from Luxury Scent Box. I never, I don't know why, Scent Bird. Why do I save those? I don't use those. These, I do wanna keep. These are the cl cleansers that I like to use for acrylic, cleaning acrylic and cleaning this. So those will stay in here. I have the sanitary reusable, um, little lip wands and eye wands. I use these if I ever do um, makeup, freelance makeup. So I do need to save those and I have some loose in here. It's kinda gross, why are they loose? Let me see, this one's in a bag so that's good. Honestly, these are all loose so it kinda defeats the purpose of them being sanitary. So those are gonna be thrown away. They need to stay in their bag so they stay sanitary. Of course, Lisa. All right, so we're gonna move this back here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this in the back because I don't do makeup often and when I do, I'll know where it's at and I can just pull it out. Okay, perfect. Somebody told me these were actually feminine wipes. Are they fem They are. I thought that these were makeup removing wipes, so uh, those can be moved out of there too. Okay, um, I have a some like nail stuff in here too. So I guess I'll just stick that in the back. That's all that needs to stay in here. So that means that I can go ahead and put the sheet masks in the front. Okay, so I have all the tools and stuff that if I ever need them, they're kind of back there. I know where to find them, but they're not like taking up the whole drawer anymore. I'm gonna throw away all that garbage and yeah. Yay, that looks a lot better, a lot more functional. Now, this empty drawer, oh, I'm so excited. This empty drawer is gonna become my, this is gonna become my giveaway drawer. So all my giveaway products are gonna go in here. Whenever I find something that I want to include in a giveaway, I will stick it in this drawer. All right, we're gonna move on to the blushes. This is a drawer where I just really need to organize it a little bit better. It got a little disorganized recently. After all those declutters, everything just kind of moved around in weird places, so I just wanna make sure it's all organized. That was easy. All right, that drawer was easy. As far as the bronzer drawer, I really, I don't feel like this drawer needs to be moved around at all. I know they're just kind of loose in here, but again, I feel like you can see everything and that is my biggest, my biggest thing with all of my makeup drawers is I want things to be visible. And I feel like for the most part, everything is very visible. I can easily move things around to see what's underneath. It's pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that as is. All right, moving up to my highlight drawer. Hmm, do I wanna do something with this drawer? I kinda like the way this is too. I feel like for highlighters, blushes, or for highlighters and bronzers, I don't mind having them kinda spread out like this. I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. If it starts to really bother me, I can always redo this drawer later on. All right, now we're in the powder drawer. This one, again, it just needs a little tweaking. It is not too bad. I do like having these powders kind of stacked up when they're in just a regular compact shape. And that way, um, these ones that are loose powders, these ones that are loose powders can be set, uh, set up right. 
So let's do that real quick. All right, and then both of these are pretty tall, so these will just sit in the back like that. But that way, all the loose powders, I don't like them sitting on their side because they can kind of leak out powder. So I like those just being sat up straight, and then these can be stacked along their side. All right, and then I am pretty much done because I feel like the primer drawer and also the foundation drawer up here are how I wanted them already. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for doing this uh, reorganization with me. Um, I'm really, really pleased that I was able to make room for some things that I wanted to move over here, and I feel a lot better about the amount of makeup I have. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.